This year's master game players took to the hills, the rolling Mendips just outside Bristol. The players all came from the very top flight of world chess. Hills that echoed to the sounds of grinding brains, grunts of frustration, and even the occasional cry of very real anguish. These then are the players in Group A. Grandmaster Larry Christiansen, Grandmaster Andros Adoyan, Nigel Short, Grandmaster Hans Joachim Hecht. This is what they're going to be playing for, the Master Game Trophy and the first prize of £2,500. And in Group B, Grandmaster Walter Brown, Grandmaster Miguel Quinteros, Grandmaster Raymond Keane, Eric Lobron. We've got a, a, a very good group of young players this time. I think some of the most promising players in the chess world. I think if I trade queens, I know I'll have a safe but long-term edge. And in this kind of tournament, you always play for the sure thing. Well, this is the Battle of the Giants in this round. Let's join it and see how it goes. Is that true? Will he be satisfied with the draw? Or shall I play for wins? Now what do I do? Hey, but there's a trap. Nah, he wouldn't fall into it. Oh, he's in time pressure, but nah, miracles don't happen. This is called the Schliemann counter gambit. It's promising all sorts of exciting things later in this game because this is Black's, certainly Black's sharpest move to the Lopez. Black really trying to bust open the position in the center. Oh my God, I have a lot of problem, but I should play queen d6 anyway. My only move, queen d6. This is why the Sicilian becomes such an exciting opening, because white has more room in the centre, more space. Oh, yes, maybe this problem isn't so minor after all. Mm -hmm. 